We are thrilled that we have such a big crowd of booksellers and publishers here today for our New Voices, New Rooms orientation. Our fall conference will bring together possibly a thousand people from NABA and SIVA regions, along with all of you for a very full week of programming. We all know that prepping for events like this make attending the event itself much easier and more fun. So that's why we're doing this orientation today. Our team worked really hard on last year's virtual conference and we took all the feedback from booksellers and publishers to improve on our success. We've streamlined the process and adjusted the schedule to work for everyone. So now I'm gonna introduce our team. We have Neva's Kit Little as the point person for vendor and bookseller registrations. She's also coordinating the items going into our show box. Booksellers who register for the show by September 1st will receive the show box in the mail, hopefully before the conference. Siba's Nikki Leon handles communication, production, and is the go-to person for people who have questions about how to use the event platform, whether it's Zoom or our NVNR website. SP Rankin is our NVNR web designer and website administrator. She builds it and keeps it running smoothly. Lucy Perkins Wagle and Kathy Ellen Davis are our social media coordinators. My partner, Nabas Eileen Dengler, is the creative genius behind our education programming. And she's also putting together our editor buzz and pick up the list sessions. I'm currently working on organizing our author panels and we're finalizing a lot of that this week. So stay tuned to announcements on the incredible authors coming your way in September. So I wanted to talk about a couple of new things. Um, one thing we've changed is the overall schedule for the week. Monday, September 27th and Friday, October 1st are dedicated to bookseller education and round tables. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are publisher and vendor focused. So there are time for appointments, visiting the studios, and attending author events. We've also reimagined our office hours, which Eileen will discuss momentarily. <laughs> also new, new this year are the Vindy Awards, which I'm personally very excited about. Um, these are gonna be awarded to videos that independent bookstores from our two regions sent in, um, and they represent a number of categories. Our panel of judges from across the industry are selecting the winners right now, and we'll have a really fun award ceremony during the conference. So now I'm gonna pass things over to Eileen, who will talk about networking opportunities at the virtual breakfast and lunches, the round tables, the education tracks, and our new approach to office hours. Thank you, Linda Marie. I'm thrilled to be here with you, and I'm excited to share with you the improvements we made to new voices, new rooms. First, we've created virtual happenstance. We want to replicate those unplanned meetings and conversations that happen in conference hallways and at meal events. Our welcome center is open every day from eight to five, and we hope you just drop in to see who else might be hanging out there. Um, if you wanna chat with anyone, we will put you into breakout rooms so you can have quiet conversations with someone you meet there. You can also use the Welcome Center to set up your own meetups. You can have your social media book selling groups meet in person at New Voices New Rooms. If you give us notice, we'll help promote to attendees as well. We want to customize the event to make it yours, so take advantage of these chances to connect. The Welcome Center is also the place for our new version of Office Hours. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there are three time slots for Office Hours. 8 to 9 a.m., 1 to 2 p.m., and 4 to 5 p.m. We've themed them to make them more productive for you. Uh, the publishers will focus on new accounts, sales rep meetings, and publicity. Some publishers and vendors who don't fit into those topics will still be available, and in the schedule, we'll tell you what they might be focusing on during those office hours. Um, so watch the schedule and we will let you know who's going to be there at what time and what they're going to be covering. Again, you can just come to the Welcome Center, tell the staff who you need to meet, and we'll put you into a breakout room to do business. 
There are virtual breakfasts and lunches that are strictly bookseller time. So there are no authors or publishers requiring your attention. Bring your food, jump into a room, and we'll randomly assign you to a table as if you had just walked into a ballroom. And you can spend the hour connecting with new friends, sharing ideas, getting to know new stores, and what's, what makes them special. As Linda Marie said, we devoted Monday and Friday to education. You'll have a chance to sit in on two classes from the professional certification program, one on school book fairs and one on special orders and website fulfillment. We have an hour of roundtables on Monday. It's divided into two 25-minute sessions with 15 topics, and most of them repeat. Our small store owners retreat is on Monday evening out of respect to your limited time working the sales floor, as well as trying to attend the conference. Friday morning is dedicated to retreats for owners, managers, book buyers, and social media. And if any of you have an expertise or want to moderate or speak at New Voices New Rooms, just drop me an email and we'll see what we can do. And we have something for everyone at this conference, and I hope that you tell all your staff and bookselling friends to sign up and join you at New Voices New Rooms. And now we'll pass it over to Nikki. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, I am just going to give everyone a quick tour of uh, the what we're calling the platform of New Voices New Rooms. Um, before. I take us there though, uh, I did want to say that uh, like last year, the uh, New Voices New Rooms Conference platform is a, it's uh, held on Zoom. We're using Zoom for all of our meetings and uh, with a, a website that's acting as uh, sort of a hub. Um, and the reason that we did that was because after, uh, the year and a half that we've all had. We think all of our booksellers and most of our uh, participants, most of the industry is fairly comfortable with Zoom as a way to have events and way to see uh, programming. Um, and we did not want to try to force everybody to uh, go to a website where they were sort of contained within this little sort of box where they you know, logged in and out of and uh, tried to keep up with things that were going on. We recognize that uh, your stores are now in the process of reopening. Um, some of you are further along in that process than others. Um, some of you are sort of trying to keep up with the changes in your communities. So, so we wanted something that people could attend, whether or not their doors were open or not, whether or not they were in the stores or not, whether or not they had customers in front of them, or if they were still at home. So Zoom, uh, offers the most flexibility for everybody concerned. So that's why we're still listening. So that said, I'm gonna take us to our, our website. Okay, everybody see that? And um, uh, Linda Marie and um, Eileen, I cannot see the chat when I do this. So if you all will just keep an eye on that and if there's questions, stop me. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, so newvoicesnewrooms.org, the same website as last year. And what you're seeing here is our, our you know, main page. Uh, we have now opened up the site completely, uh, but uh, a lot of the stuff that's on here right now is the first thing you need to know is that it's uh, only visible to people who have registered for the show. So the first thing I want to say is that like last year, we are strongly encouraging bookstores to get their entire staff uh, to, to register at least so that they will have access uh, to all the events and the programming and the, and the perks. And um, two reasons, two very good reasons why you want all of your staff to register is one, if they register, they will, as Lindsay said, uh, be put on the list to get the show box, which is you know just jam packed full of goodies um, and you know kit later on we'll tell you what else in it uh, the other reason uh, you want them to register is because only registered people can access uh, the galley rooms and uh, request review copies so Nikki, books, yeah? Nikki um, 
Oh, it's been pointed out there's a little bit of static coming from your mic. Uh, okay, I'm not sure exactly how to fix that. That's just sort of my computer sound. Let me see. Okay. Is is that any better? No, also, not really. Um. Well, do you want to have Kit talk about the show box, and I'll I'll sort of see if I can work on this and then come back. Sure. Okay. So, Since we did have a question about the show box. Okay. So I'll stop sharing and turn it over to Kit and see if I can do something. Better. Okay. The show box, my favorite thing on this extras for the entire show is a special box that is put together and sent to the first 400 registrants, bookseller registrants for the show. So this is another great reason to get your entire staff to sign up for the show, even if they're only going to attend one or two sessions, or if they're going to be there for everything. The show box is an opportunity for publishers to send us little promotional items for things that they're showcasing during the show, or items that are things that they want to use to promote whatever their products are. Basically, you're getting a whole box of swag. And yes, you really want to sign up for this box. We have um, over 15 publishers and authors participating in the show box. I'm still working things out. If you are a publisher and you're here, I can still get something into the show box. It's $350 to add something to the show box. And it's going to be some incredibly cool items this year. We have multiple books for different age groups. We have uh, bags. There might be some chocolate in there, some toys for kids, some interesting promotional items you can actually use for your store and brand them to your store and a bunch of other different things here and there. One of my favorite items is Blackstone and I'm gonna give this away as a total spoiler is sending everybody hand sanitizer because what else says we care about you during the time of COVID than hand sanitizer. <laughs> so, and a canvas bag since you got to take them all to the stores with you too. So definitely sign up for the show box. And I was going to pass it off to social media, but I am going to, uh, actually Nikki is off. She is still fixing it. So that's the show box in a nutshell. You should definitely sign up for the show ASAP so that you can get on that show box list. And for now, I'm going to ask Kathy, Ellen, and Lucy to unmute oh, themselves. Oh. Nikki, Nikki is here, so she Nikki's can... back. Back. Yeah, I'm back. I don't know if that helps with my microphone. Not but really. Not really. Is it completely? No, I would go forward though. Just with... go forward. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, apologies. I had apologies for the sound. Um, I was going to. I was in the middle of talking about our um website platform. So that's, let me go back here. Are you all seeing our, our website here? Yep. Okay. Um, move all these things out of the way so I can see my website. New Voices, New Rooms is completely open. As I was saying, um, at this point, uh, a lot of the website is now open, but it's open to attendees only. So what I'm showing you, uh, if you just if you haven't registered for the show, uh, you won't actually be able to be access to access it. We do have our registration page, which is uh, front and center, and anybody can get to that and register. So uh, once again, I encourage everybody to get their encourage their staffs uh, to get online so they have access to all of the programming and the benefits of the show. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is this year that we're doing something, we're showcasing the bookstores who are at the show. So any bookstore that registers, um, anybody who registers and says that they're an owner or a manager of their bookstore will get an invitation to put their store on Bookstore Row. Um, this is Bookstore Row. And it is uh, essentially a gallery of all of the stores that have registered for the show right now. Uh, and the reason that we did this is that last year we had uh, some comments from booksellers that they found themselves having to 
uh, to enter a lot of the same information over and over again with different publishers about their stores when they were trying to place orders or set up accounts or request review copies and things of that sort. So Bookstore Row is a way to not only showcase your store, but also to have a place to put um, information that you're going to need to give to publishers easily. Uh, and just to give you sort of an example of what that looks like, here's Covered Maker Books. Um, and you can see that Covered Maker Books here has, you know, some information about what their focus is as a store, what association that they're with, um, what their store website is, and their contact information, description. Um, and as you go down here, also what their social media handles are, and their uh, store staff members and roles. Uh, so the people, like if you have a children's buyer, a staff member who's a children's buyer, you can give, put their name in there. If you have a, somebody who's their social, your social media person, um, that's where you can put that information. A lot of stores, a lot of you all uh, attended our uh, press kit uh, camp earlier this year for New, New Voices New Rooms and press kit camp. Um, there's a place for you to upload your press kit as well so that it's accessible to publishers. And and there's also a place for um, you know a, a little gallery so that you can sort of include some pictures of what your store looks like if you want to do that. Um, and every bookstore who registers uh, has is receives a link and invite to uh, fill out one of these things and. You also have on this a link directly to your uh, to your card, and this is the link that you can just sort of copy and then paste into chats when you're talking to um, other bookstores or talking to publishers and trying and talking about accounts, and you want to give them your store information. This link is sort of a, a quick way to hand them a whole lot of information about your store, the stuff that they're probably going to need to set up accounts with you. Um, so that is what Bookstore Row is. Um, Bookstore Row has also become very popular with the publishers who have um, already registered for New Voices for Rooms. Uh, they're constantly looking at this and seeing who's signed up. So, you know, we encourage any store who's, who's registered to uh, go ahead and fill, fill out these things as, as quickly as possible. When you register, you will automatically like I said, if you're an owner or a manager, you'll automatically be sent a link that says, please fill out your listing on Bookstore Row. Um, and like a lot of these uh, things, this thing can be uh, viewed as this sort of gallery, We could, or you can view it as a spreadsheet. You can also uh, sort it and filter it however you want. You can search. You know, uh, search through it and come up with, you know, but whatever keywords you're looking for. And uh, we also, you can download it. And so this acts as kind of an attendee directory for publishers and vendors to know what stores are represented in the places in rooms. So that is Bookstore Row. Um, and also this information is uh, one of the things that's only available to attendees. So if you are not a registered attendee and you try to uh, uh, access this link, uh, you'd be asked for the, uh, the attendee password that you were provided when you register. So um, you will need to have that to you know, view all this information. Um, the other thing is uh, that we have, it's, and we have, we're calling it the Studio Gallery uh, Last year, we had what we called a, a virtual exhibit hall, and it was basically every publisher had a page that they put all their stuff on that they wanted. Um, and we found that that, you know, it was useful, but maybe not as useful as it could have been for bookstores. And one of the things that we heard after the show was that bookstores really wanted a directory of sorts. Uh, uh, they really sort of missed, I think, their show directory, which had basic publisher information and their show specials and, you know, important things. And so the studio gallery, like Bookstore Row, is, uh, operates like that. It's basically 
a list of all of the, the partners, the publisher and industry partners that are supporting Voices New Rooms. And uh, each of their cards has information um, that they think you need to know uh, in order to develop relationships and accounts with them. Um, and just to give you a sort of example here, let's see. One of the things that we did is we prioritized the information that would, that would help people to develop relationships and networking kinds of contacts. So you're not gonna see a whole lot of say, uh, information about specific books in these publisher studios. What you are going to see, um, aside from company websites and, and some various videos and things, you will see who your sales rep is, whether you're a neighbor or a SIBA store, you'll see how to contact them. Um, you will also see how to set up an appointment with them while you're at the show. The, some, store, some publishers did that by uh, providing an email address. Some have provided links to their own appointment calendars, but one way or the other, uh, there will be a place for you to say, I want to set up an appointment with you. you know, so um, the other thing that will sometime, you'll sometimes see is uh, there's places for event grids, um, uh, links to uh, upload for like people who have want to uh, establish a new account if there's a sp specific form for that. Uh, some publishers have put that into these studios so that you have access to that account. Some of them have included catalogs, um, but whatever they thought was most important for you to know as a bookstore is what they provided on, in their studios. And um, as I said, this includes things like show specials, Let's see, Blackstone here is creating a show special. It lets you know what lines they're in, and it will give you the sales rep information um, and the best way to reach them to set up an appointment to meet with them. And so that is how studios look. And once again, these are all, you can filter them by keyword. You can filter them by what kind of a service they offer. You can download this whole thing if you want, and you can also view this as a spreadsheet and download it as a spreadsheet. And this, in effect, acts as what, you know, in a real world situation would be your, your exhibit hall, your directory, your exhibit directory. But like I said, we're calling it studios. And these studios also have, like, like the bookstores did, there is a, uh, a link that they can share with you or that you can copy and bookmark if you want access to their information. Let's see that here is Studio Batch. Here's Studio Blackstone. Clicking on that link will bring up that particular card. There we go. You can see that card. And that is how the studio stuff works. Am I going too fast for people? No, there's a lot to show. Okay. <laughs> well, and the final, the final thing that I, I, well, the second to final thing I wanted to demonstrate is our galley room. Um, now, I am sure last year, everybody remembers having to fill out 18 million Google forms requesting different um, books. And so this year, you know, we decided that Google form was just a bad word and we weren't gonna, we weren't gonna use it. So instead we created a gallery room, um, the readers of the last art gallery. Room. And it has basically all, all the books that are, any author who is a presenter in the show uh, will also have galleys available, um, but also any of the, uh, any of the publishers or vendors who have who have review copies that they want to offer can also list them in this in the gallery room. Um, I'm not sure how many we have right now. Uh, the uh, publishers are just now starting to enter them. Um, you do need to be a registered member of the uh, show to be able to even see this. And uh, the gallery room, the way it will work is 
that it's going to stay open throughout the whole show and you will fill out your information. And the attendee password that you receive. Just hoping I remembered it. And then you will have a list here. This is your information as a registered attendee, along with whatever, um, along with the li a link to request your ARCs. And all you have to do is fill out that link. We'll ask you whether you want print or digital, but that is not a um, um, guarantee. I mean, you'll basically be able to register whatever. You'll basically receive whatever is being available. But um, And since there's going to be a fair number of galleys available, uh, we made it so that you just can sort of type out the uh, title of the book that you're interested in and select it and hit save. And you can come back and forth to this galley room throughout the show. It will stay open until the end, until the end of the show. And then the galley room will close and NDNR will send publishers everybody's requests for books. So it's open now. You're welcome as a registered person to um, go ahead and browse it and see what's there and start making requests, but all the requests will be sent to publishers after the show is closed. Although we are keeping publishers um, up to date with if there's things that are uh, showing a, a high degree of interest, uh, just so that they're aware of it. Um, and the galleys, the galleys will be um, like everything else, like the bookstore row and like uh, the studio gallery, the galley room is searchable, sortable. You can um, filter it by the kinds of books. Uh, and once the schedule is actually uh, live and confirmed, um, you'll also, they'll also all be tagged by the event that they're associated with. So if you are at a particular author panel and you can't remember you know, exactly who it was that you uh, we're interested in or what book you were interested in, you can put the name of that author panel in and the books that are associated with that panel uh, will be filtered for you. So that is how the gallery room will work. Um, and then real quickly, and I'm mostly going to leave this to, to other people, but real quickly, the, the schedule is right now in its, in its infancy, we are just now uh, getting confirmations from publishers for the various authors. And uh, so what you're seeing here is, is pretty early days yet. But the schedule also uh, can be viewed by day, can be filtered, can be searched, can be turned into a spreadsheet or downloaded. And there's also a... Um, Place where you can enter, where you can log in and see all of your information as an attendee of the show. And Nikki, a question earlier was, can, uh, does our schedule link, can you download it to your own calendar? There is, there is a place for you to, a way to link the schedule into Google and Apple. Is that, so yes. Um, and there'll be more information added as we have events confirmed. The one thing um, I will say, uh, the other big issue that we had last year on Zoom by using Zoom, you know, Zoom is just, you, you create an event and it has a meeting link and you have to click on, you know, register at that meeting link to see that event. And <laughs> that meant that last year people had to navigate something like what, 85 different <laughs> Zoom links. There was, it was like one for each event. It was a little bit crazy. This year, uh, that's not going to happen. This year, um, the links are more uh, 
associated with what we're calling sort of channels. We have channels and there's gonna be, I think five total channels. Uh, and so there'll be a link for each of those. But everybody who registers is going to be pre-registered for everything, which means that um, you're going to receive a, a notification from Zoom saying, you have now been registered for NDNR's uh, Channel One uh, meetings, and it will give you some information about that and your unique registration. Um, which you can hang on to that from that email from Zoom if you want, but that information is also going to go into your account. So it's always accessible for you as well. And if you uh, were to fill out this information here, uh, one of the things you'll see on your account is once we've, um, once we've uh, finalized all the, the details of the calendar, is you would see your various registration links for each channel. That said, you can totally ignore them. Um, and you can just click on the join event whenever you want. Uh, the big difference between using the links that Zoom sends you and clicking on join event is that join event will make you enter your email address, whereas clicking on the link that's sent to you from Zoom um, it will just immediately open the event. So this is the, that's the, the only difference between those two things. Um, mostly you will just not have to remember passwords or anything. It will take you there. Um, the one thing I will say is by doing it this way, we are requiring everybody who registers to register under their own email address. So we can't, uh, last year we had some people, some stores who registered their whole staff but registered the staff under the same email address, under the store's email address. Um, and uh, that does not work in the system. So everybody has to have their own login account in order for this to work the way we've designed it. And in order for them to be able to make their own galley requests and make their own, you know, get their own show boxes and things like that, we need a, a distinct person. So that is the, the schedule. As uh, Lynn and Marie said, um, we've simplified it a lot. There's uh, author events in the middle of the week, and it's bookended by education, bookseller education at the beginning, at the end of the week. Uh, there's a high degree of, uh, of emphasis on networking kinds of events that will have booksellers talking to publishers and booksellers talking to booksellers and sharing information. Um, there are some brief uh, interludes uh, sort of to break up between all of the intense networking that you're doing. And we do have uh, what uh, Eileen was calling the welcome desk and what I personally have been calling the hospitality suite, which is a Basically, um, a channel that's going to be open from 8 in the morning to about 5 in the evening, 5 or 5.30 in the evening, that will always be staffed, um, will be where office hours are held, but is also there as space for you to use uh, as meeting space with other bookstores or other, other publishers, you know, if you want one-on-one -on -one meeting time. And is a place where you get, if you get lost or can't find things or can't reach somebody, you can ask the staff there. They are there to, they're there basically to be the information desk for you throughout the show. And they'll be there eight to five. So that is, um, I think the full platform. Did I miss anything? No? All right. Well, maybe, I'll we'll, um, we'll turn it over to our social media people, but maybe Nikki, you can check the chat in case there's anything you can answer there. Oh, look at that, it's a 37 chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, we tried to answer what we could. Um, <laughs> All right, I'll look at the chat. Okay, so Kathy Allen and Lucy are going to talk about how you can use social media during the uh, conference to enhance your own presence. Hi, everyone. So I have a couple things that are similar to last year. Um, once everything is finalized, the events and presenters authors, creators. We're gonna be working on a spreadsheet to collect together all of the tags that you will need to tag the authors and creators and the publishers. So if you are watching something and you really love it, we wanna make sure that you can tag all of them because as you know, if you're tagging authors or illustrators or publishers, they might see it, they might reshare it. They like to know what you find exciting. And we wanted to make that just very simple for you so you don't have to go searching anywhere to find any of that info. When that is created, we will let you know where to get it. Um, also, 
encourage everyone to maybe think about one, what, when you're watching an author speak, try to keep an eye and an ear out for maybe one little thing that you can take away that you can then use later in the store to hand sell the book. I do that often at my store. I heard the author talk and they said this thing or the interludes. Did you also know the author plays this instrument beautifully, right? Those are those little tidbits that you cannot get from algorithms. You get from real humans that your customers really appreciate. And you can use all of these things to connect with the customers too. take screenshots of what you're loving. If remember, if you were taking screenshots of a Zoom meeting, if you have done this before, you're probably gonna have to take about 20 to get one good one. Just be prepared for that because people are very animated when they speak and talk about that you are even attending the show. Uh, last year, we had some graphics that said, we'll be at New Voices, New Rooms and working on getting those with this year's graphics as well. So you can post those to remind people that you are doing continuing education. You're always trying to improve the store and the experience for them. So there are lots of opportunities for you to be talking about this even now or during the show, after the show, you can talk about what you love. We'll be working together to put some posts up when we have the panels and the author events ready to go. So if you see something like that and you wanna share it and say, oh, I'm so excited to see so-and-so at New Voices, New Rooms, we just wanted to remind you especially Lucy and I were talking about this. If you share it on Instagram stories, say, make sure that you tag us. So that means just adding in the text somewhere, or there's a, a, a way that you can also add um, handles, tag Naba, tag Siba, our Instagram accounts. That way we are guaranteed to see that you shared it. And then we will most likely reshare that you shared it because we think it's great that you shared it. And if you want to talk about New Voices, New Rooms, uh, our hashtag we're using this year is NVNR2021. Pretty simple. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that too. Um, during the show, we are going to be really focused on sharing what's coming up next on the schedule, but also we love having that excitement of seeing what you are excited about. So we really want to share what you are sharing as well. Um, and we'll be tag teaming that. So you'll see stuff from the SIBA account. You may or may not see stuff from the NABA account um, because I also have a baby that's due a week before the show. So I might have a, a little coworker who is with me um, for some parts. As everyone knows, Babies don't come on their, they come on their own schedule. So we'll see what happens. Um, but if that happens, I didn't disappear. I have a pressing uh, job to do. Um, so we just want you to have fun with this. And if you can even search the hashtag, if you want to connect with other people, like Eileen was saying with the welcome center, the hospitality center. If there are, you know, some booksellers are going that you want to chat with, you know, you can find that out online, maybe through what you're posting, you can meet up and have a nice chat. Um, I'm not sure if I missed anything, Lucy, I want to give you a chance to wait, jump in if you have anything you want to say. Um, no, Kathy Ellen, I think you hit uh, the proverbial nail on the head. Um, we're just really excited to share uh, your content as attendees. So please, please, please tag us so that we can see it, so that we can share all your gorgeous things. And also publishers are really excited to share content like that too. Um, so tagging them also could get your content shared in multiple places, which is always fun. And I'll, I'll make a um, post if it's unclear. I know Instagram uh, stories is still relatively new to some of our friends who are new to Instagram or aren't sure there's so many buttons, how do I do it? So I'll make sure I get a post that makes it very clear about how you all can do that and we'll share it on our um, Instagram feeds. Um, yeah, but I think that's it from social media. So I'm gonna throw it back to Linda Marie. Eileen, do we, is there anything that we haven't covered, do you think? Uh, no, but if we can just keep repeating, make sure that everyone you know who sells books in the NEBA and SEBA region is at New Voices, New Rooms. 
And, and um, I'll just break in here. I've been looking through the chat. Boy, it's active. Um, a, a lot of people are uh, asking about their passwords in order to access these, you know, attendee only areas of the site. So I think what I'll do after this is just send everybody who's registered for the show, I'll resend them their password. Um, so you can just look for that in your inboxes uh, in the next, you know, hour or so. And that way you'll be able to get on and explore for yourselves and see what all is there. So, um, and booksellers, especially if you have questions about your student, about your, your bookstore row listing and uh, uh, need some help with that, uh, get in touch with me and I'll be able to help you with that. Because we want you to put, you want a good face forward for all of our publishers. Thank you. Well, um, Kit put a very helpful list of contact information in the chat. So feel free to contact any of us if you're having any um, issues getting what you need from the site. Um, we've also recorded today's presentation if you need to share that with your staff. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in a little over a month at the show. So thank you so much for coming today.